Live from Newman University, it's tonight with James McDonald. Hello and welcome everyone to the first episode of our new show tonight. I am your host, James McDonald, and for all of those of you who don't know me, uh, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm an only child of two amazing parents. I'm a big fan of instant mac and cheese, and I'm 20, but still can't grow a beard, but I'm, I'm getting there. Uh, in the studio is my talented, pasta-loving co-host, AJ Tenor. AJ? Yeah. AJ, how you feeling? First show, buddy. James, I'm feeling just fine on our maiden voyage of uh, the Tonight Show. We're, we're, it's only smooth sailing from here, AJ. Exactly. Uh, AJ reminds me of my recliner. We go way back. <laughs> no, but seriously, I couldn't have picked a better friend and co-host to do the show alongside me. I mean, there's no one else I'd want to go into this journey of late night television with. So AJ, thank you, for, thank you for being here. Well, I've always loved to make people laugh since I was a kid. I mean, as a dare when I was eight years old, I crashed a wedding at the restaurant we were at. And one time at a sleepover, I made a kid laugh so hard that he told me he was going to pee his pants. <laughs> Turns out, he was a bedwetter. <laughs> well, Pennsylvania is kind of a boring state, so I hope this show can put us on the map. But at least we are at Utah, where they have to rescue deers from plastic feeder buckets. <laughs> hey, not too bad, not too bad. An eight-year-old boy snuck a book he wrote himself into a library, and people enjoyed it so much that there is currently a wait time of five years to check it out. I mean, I can relate. It takes five years for people to finally check me out, and they don't even need a library card. So I hope he has better success than I have. Well, as host, I hope to have great delivery. So with the current state of the postal system, uh, some of these jokes may not get to you until the 4th of July. <laughs> this show is all about firsts. This is my first time hosting a late-night talk show, and I'm honored. Yeah, Woo! thank you, thank you. Uh, this is my first time hosting a late-night talk show, and I'm honored and proud to take on the new role. This is also the first non-sports or video game show this semester. Yeah. And it's the first time I've appeared on camera. Um, fully clothed. Hey, we got a great show for you tonight. Father Cole is sitting down with me, so make sure to stick around. But before we get to that, let's say hello to the studio audience and have a look at tonight's entertainment. Woo! For tonight's entertainment, Kanye, Ye West, and Julia Fox have officially called it quits after connections have sparked on New Year's Eve, but apparently are in an open relationship. Seems to me Kanye can't see straight when he wears things like this. <laughs> <laughs> Trisha Paytas is welcoming her first child with husband Moses Hackbon. How does Moses like to wake up in the morning? Looks like Moses will be focusing on he brewing his coffee and not his child. <laughs> One of the biggest moments from the Super Bowl halftime show was when 50 Cent was seen performing upside down. With the current rate of inflation, he will be known as 75 cents soon. The 15-year-old Russian figure skater has been cleared to compete at the Beijing Olympics despite her testing positive for dope. First it was Putin riding a bear shirtless, now it's a 15-year-old taking dope. I wonder what's in <laughs> Russian Wheaties. <laughs> All that for getting fourth place. <clears throat> And finally, Team Fluff has defeated Team Ruff by a score of 73-69 in Puppy Bowl 18 after a face-off that lasted three hours. Martha Stewart coached Team Ruff while Snoop Dogg coached Team Fluff, but only this time, Snoop Dogg was the only dog that was high. And that's what I got for you on tonight's entertainment. Thank you, AJ, for that report. My next guest tonight is the newest chaplain of Newman University. He loves songs of praise, and he's got blessings for days. More importantly, uh, he will bless you when you sneeze. Please welcome Father Ricola to the show. Thank you, thank you. Father Ricola, how are you? How are you doing today? I'm fabulous. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm happy being here. It's so good to be here. It's so good to have you here uh, for the first episode here. Thank you. Blessings. Blessings. Blessings, blessings. blessings for yes. days. We we figured we'd be able to get a little bit of a, of a blessing for this show. Hopefully. Uh, Hopefully they, they keep the ratings up and hopefully the show uh, <laughs> you never goes know. on a little bit. You never know. But uh, uh, how are you doing? I mean... I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. I, I, I had a beautiful day today. I, uh, I had mass with the uh, staff and some of our students. And then I had a meeting with Sister Catherine, who is my boss. And I walked around. 
So I had a good day. How and your you? day is even better now. You're on the Tonight now Show with James McDonald. Now that you're on the Tonight Show. Yes. <laughs> My premiere. I'm about to make it big. Yes. That's the yes. This is your, this is your, your big debut. Your big uh, talk show debut. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I think. After this, I'm going to have my own show. Maybe I'm going to drone you someday. Maybe. You Maybe. Know. We'll see. We'll hey, see. Hey, Play your cards steps. right. Baby, Baby steps. steps. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, thank you. Well, um, I, I just want to, on behalf of me and AJ and everybody here, we want to uh, officially uh, welcome you here to Newman University. You're, you. you're the newest uh, chaplain, as we said in the, the intro. How does, it, how does it feel? It feels great. I, everybody here at Newman has been so welcoming. Um, you know, part of part of my job, I think, as a chaplain, is to to form relationships with people. Yeah. And I'm so happy when I say hi to folks. Folks reply with so much energy. It makes me feel happy. It makes me feel that I'm part of this community. Absolutely. It's, it's very, very, it's very great. I'm very grateful being here. Absolutely. Are, are you new to the to the Philadelphia area? I know you grew up in in Cameroon, Africa. Correct. Correct. No, actually, this is my second time being in Philadelphia. The first time I was in Philadelphia was in 2010. Really? When I joined the seminary. I was like eight years old. I, I think, uh, what, the Phillies won the, the, the World Series? The championship? Yeah. There. Wow, yeah, yeah. So that was in 2010. I was in the seminary. And then, you know, it's been nine years now. I'm back again. I live downtown Philly on uh, Market Street and 13. Okay. Uh, there's a church there, St. John the Evangelist. I just live uh, beside that church with a couple of other brothers and priests. Yeah, so this is my second time being in Philly. Oh man, well you're you're a, you're a native. Oh, um, I am, I am, I am. What? Eagles all day. Eagles, hey. let's go. Oh, we we love to hear for the Eagles. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but this is my second time being here, so I'm, I'm very happy being here. That's great. Yeah. What are your what are some of your favorite spots in in Philadelphia? So favorite spots in Philadelphia: Ricketts Glen a Park. You know, I, I love going there walking, and definitely Chinatown is top 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 thing for me because. Uh, my parishioners, we have a church in Chinatown called Holy Redeemer Catholic Church. And I think uh, I go to Chinatown very often and I go to restaurants there very often. Really? So it's really, it's really one of my favorite spots. I, I pass by there sometimes, but I never, I never get the, Do you have any recommendations for, for food? Uh, I don't want to be the publicity guy, but if you do like desserts, you know, you want to have a feel of Asian desserts and desserts from... Uh, especially Hong Kong, there's this place called Mango Mango. Mango Mango. Mango Mango is really, really good. You know, you have, your desserts are all made of mango, the fruit mango, and sectional. I think. Really? Yeah, it's worth trying. I love that. Not not to be not to be confused with uh, Mac and Mango, right? No, the, uh, no. famous uh, no. the pizza joint, pizza iconic, joint, right? Sadly divorced. Two, you know? <laughs> two different things, but well, yeah, that's one of my favorite places. Absolutely. Well, you, you live in Philadelphia, so I have to. I'm not trying to put you on the spot here, okay. Father, but. Living in Philly, I have to ask you this. Yeah. Uh, where's the best cheesesteak spot? Yeah. Where's the best cheesesteak? We got to settle this debate. Uh, I think I'll go with Pat's. Pat's, okay. Yeah, that's a, that's I, a fair safe choice. Choice. I, I think, choice. I think I think that's a safe choice for me. I, I've been to Pat's a couple of times, and I'm happy with what I have. Yeah. What, do you, what do you usually get? Are you, a, are you a whiz guy? Whiz guy. You know what? We believe this or not. I had a, I had a conversation with Patrick. Campus ministry. Yeah. And uh, he asked me, are you a whiz guy? I was like, Patrick, what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? He says, oh, do you put some, do you put cheese on it? Or I don't want cheese. Just give me the meat. That's it. I don't want all this extra stuff is just too much for me. You know? Yeah. Just give me the meat. You're a simple extra. guy. Simple You're a simple guy. guy. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. It, it's almost like you need a, like another language to be able to, to understand. Like Correct. They... <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I think it's a new lingo for me. I need to try and get that down so that I should be a real Philadelphian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How, how about you, AJ? Do you have a favorite uh... favorite joint? Uh, I got to go with Steve's Prince of Steaks. That's a classic. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, don't think I've, I don't think I've ever, uh, ever tried that. A little that. underground, you know? Huh. Mm -hmm. A little <laughs> underground in the, yeah. uh, the cheesesteak scene. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of on top of things there, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, um, you, you, you were initially a, um, uh, you worked for a security company. Correct. In, uh, in Washington, D.C. before you, you became a, a friar. I, I'm really interested. You also went to, to medical school? Correct. No, I didn't go to medical school. I came, I came, I left Cameroon, Africa. I came to America to go to medical school. And as I was trying to go to medical school, I, I started working for a security company in downtown Washington, D.C., and, uh, you know, every day when I go down to Washington, D.C., I was there all night. 
And then I started visiting a church called Sacred Heart, uh, really downtown, downtown D.C., and I met, I met a priest, a Franciscan priest there. And, uh, you know, we became buddies, and he invited me over one day to come and see the work that they do. And lo and behold, I saw them. They had, they had this ministry where they work with homeless people, and that just transformed my life. And I was like, this is what I want to do in my life. You know, working with homeless people, praying, you know, being in community with brothers and like-minded people who want to serve people. And that was it. Yeah. Was that, a, was that a hard adjustment for you? Because, I mean, going from uh, working at a security company to... Correct. Um... <laughs> it was. You know, like, because working at a security company, you, you, you know, you're always, you know, standing. You're always walking. You're always alert. And you're busy, you know, 40 hours a week. You know, when I became a brother, most of the time you spent in quiet. And, you know, just allowing your thoughts to come to mind, that was, that was rough for me. It was rough. It was rough in the beginning, but it got smoother. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. With, uh, with, with all your parishioners and, and everybody who's, who's here at, at, at Newman, um, what's something about you that you wish uh, either the audience knew or your parishioners knew uh, about the you? The people at home. Well, I think what I want people from Newman to know is that I, as a chaplain for Newman, I'm here for everyone. Uh, if people want to talk, if people want prayers, I am here and I'm, I'm available for everyone. So please feel free to reach out, feel free to come to me and talk with me. Uh, and uh, that's, that's, that's why I'm here. I'm here to serve the folks here at Newman. Absolutely. I, I have one more question for you, Father, before sure. we wrap up. Uh, when, you're, when you're not at Newman, when you're not uh, preaching the gospel to your, to your parishioners, what do you enjoy doing the most? What do I enjoy doing the most? Actually, I love uh, going to the movies. Uh, I love watching movies. Yeah. You know, I, I, just, I just love watching movies. So if I'm not at Newman, I, I, I watch movies. Sometimes I go to comedy shows. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Do a little to, type five stand up. Oh, yes, yeah, stand up, but you know, it's not kosher. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I do love comedy shows and I love watching movies. Who's, who's one of your favorite comedians? Oh, Trevor Noah, definitely. Oh, he's, oh, he's amazing. He's, a, he's, he's amazing. A, he's, he's, he's really up there for me. Trevor Noah, you know, he's from South Africa, so the, the jokes are really, really, really relatable for me. Yeah. And, and Father, I also heard uh, the 76ers, they have a, a new player here. I know. Uh, <laughs> Let's see if we can see this. The Congratulations on the process. All and day. I heard he's even a. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and, you. And and uh, Father, correct me if I'm wrong, but I heard uh, you actually make uh, free throws instead of uh, the the Ben Simmons that we used to have. Woo! <laughs> I don't want to go there, but I know I know that you know I think I think uh, you know Ben Simmons is a good player. Yeah. I, uh, I know many people in Philly. We disagree, but we wish him well. We wish him well. I think the Phillies, you know, we are in a good spot. I think we're going to make it, you know, with this new addition with James Harden. Yeah. So I'm looking forward for that ring. I'm excited. See, we'll okay. see what the future holds. And guess what? The Phillies have Joel and Bib. He's from Cameroon. Everybody from Africa is supporting him. Not only Cameroon, Africa. Yes. We yes. got this. We got this. Yes. Let's give it up. Yeah. Let's give it up. Thank you. Well. Well, Father, we were talking a little bit before. Um, you're no stranger to, uh, to confessions, right? I'm not. I'm <laughs> to confessions. That's part of my job. Yes. I'm not, I'm not going to ask you to hear my confession. It would be a little bit too long. But I figured we'd play a little fun game <laughs> called, uh, called True Confessions. True and here's, confessions. here's how the game goes. Uh, in front of us are two index cards each. Uh, one card, we must write a confession that none of us knows. And on the other card, we must write one lie about ourselves. Uh, each card will label number one and number two. Okay. So on player one's turn, the other players will select either the one or two card. We'll have, uh, we'll have the audience decide that. And player one then reads that card that the other uh, players in the audience have selected. Uh, the other players have 60 seconds to interrogate each other. When the 60 seconds is up, the other players must come to a consensus to see if that person is confessing or lying. Uh, the game ends once all of us have been questioned. Are you ready, Father? I'm ready. All right, here, can you, uh, here's two cards for you, AJ. Mm. Here's two Thank cards you. for you, and uh, I guess we'll write a, well, can't do that without a, a pencil, pencil, right? Here we go. Thank you. All right, and then I guess we'll label uh, each card one and two. All right, well, the, uh, the votes are in, and we're going to 
mix these around here. Uh, Father Ocola, since you're the guest, sure. uh, would you like to go first? <laughs> sure, I'd love to. All right. Uh, now, Father, just to make it a little more comfortable, a little more familiar, we'll put this right here. So, forgive me, Father, <laughs> for I have sinned. Sure. I am banned from PetSmart after I spilled the circuit crates. Cricket. Cricket. Oh, the cricket crate over. Oh. And, uh, Sorry about my appalling handwriting that has let them loose in the store. And they let them loose in the store. <laughs> wow. Mm. Poor crickets. I want to say, uh, I want to say you did this. This is true. That is a very accurate assumption, but it is in fact the lie. Wow. Really? Yeah. Wow. 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 Give it up for AJ. You got the master liar. You got me. Gaslighting is my passion. What can I say? <laughs> All right. Would you like to go next, Father? Sure. Sure. All right. So I'm, I'm reading from, uh, from your pile, right? Okay. All right. Let's see here. Uh, being to Cuba, I have the best friend. Best fried? I have, oh, sorry. <laughs> being to Cuba, I have the best fried plantains and beans. Ooh. Hmm. I feel what, do like... you, what do you make the beans with? What do you make the beans with? <laughs> with the tomatoes? Jay, I'm feeling I'm feeling like that might be a lie. You know, he's he's not being a little he's not being specific enough. You know, I feel like if you're a bean connoisseur, you're gonna like go into detail. Right. So I'm gonna, I'm saying a lie on that one. I think I'm gonna go with Also you, the Jay. audience is freaking out. I think they know something we don't. <laughs> Uh, audience, what do you think? Is it a, is truth, it a or truth or lie? Or a lie? Raise lie. your hands for truth. You're not allowed to tell. But cheer, cheer for a truth. Guys, it's confession. You have to tell. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm going to say it's a lie. Yeah, saying it's a lie. Actually, that is true. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Been to Cuba was the audience in on it? Oh, she I was. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I've been to Cuba and I've had the best fried plantains and beans ever. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, my gosh. We'll have to, we'll have to do a, a, like a taste test or something yeah, on yeah, here. Yeah, that would just, be it. <laughs> Little show trip to Cuba. Hey, you know, <laughs> we'll bring the crew. Yeah. yeah, you know, make sure when you go, you can you come back though. You know, it's difficult to get in there, and it's easy to leave. It's very difficult for you to get in and to come back. But hey, we have a lot of Cuban restaurants in downtown Philly, and uh, good places to eat. That's great. That's great. All right, so I guess I'll go next. Mm -hmm. um, am I reading my own card? I, I could read your okay, card. Okay, AJ's yeah. going to read mm -hmm. my card. Okay. Uh, if you could pass it over, James. Yeah, that would be great. That would be great here. Audience, should we, should we give AJ one or two? Yeah. Two? All right. All right. Here you go. Thank you. All right, James. <clears throat> A bunch of eighth graders robbed me of my ham sandwich. <laughs> now, the, tra the trauma's coming back, AJ. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to make any assumptions of you based on a physical appearance. You know, you're not the, the biggest guy I know. But I feel like you're a little scrapper. You can get in a fight with some eighth graders and come out on top. I mean, I, I was in sixth grade and they were in, they were oh, in eighth grade. Oh, okay. I thought this was like yesterday. No, no, no. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you said sixth grade? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to say this is, a, this is true then. That's a, tr that's a truth? Yeah. That was a lie. Oh, yeah, that was my lie. no. Oh my gosh. Well, uh, Father Ricola, thank you so much thank you uh, for, for coming on as first guest. This was so much fun. Thank you. Um, hopefully uh, you didn't take our confessions, you know. Uh, hopefully we're not, you know. I absorb you from all your sins. Thank you. Thank you, Father. So. <laughs> yep. Well, that's all the time we have tonight. Uh, this show wouldn't be possible without our crew, writers, producers, audience. Yeah. Audience. Give it up for you guys. Yeah. And, uh, and the people who make us look good. Yeah. Uh, special thanks to Father Ocola mm -hmm. for coming on the show, setting the bar really high. I don't know if anybody could, could top that, but um, we have a great second episode planned for you. Until then, have a great night. Be well and be safe. Good night. Uh, Mike McCrossin, sorry we didn't have enough time. Uh, be well, be safe. Good night.